Okay, hey, so real quick, I just did this kitchen island declutter where basically I was finding one of my problem areas, which is a kitchen island, and something that a lot of you guys have expressed to me as your problem areas as well. And basically what I did was just take every single item, I picked it up, I looked at it, and I said to myself, do I know where this lives? Like, does this have a home within my home? If it had a home, I put it away on the spot. If it didn't have a home, then I put it in this basket that I'm holding. This is a basket of stuff that doesn't have a place in our house. And it's kind of a funny thing because nothing here is really new. So if you think about it, this is stuff that just floats around the house constantly. You never know where you're gonna find this stuff. So sometimes it's on the kitchen counter, sometimes it's in our living room, sometimes it's in the bathroom. I mean, it's in really weird places. And so now it's all in this basket. And the reason that I put it in this basket here is not to have a junk basket, but in fact to identify new homes for this stuff. So again, the idea is that we're gonna walk around the house. I mean, I'm not gonna take you with me, but I'm going to walk around the house and basically try to figure out like, where does this stuff go? And if I can't figure out a good place to put it, then it is being donated or trashed. And if I do find a good place to put it, one of the key things here is communicating it to your entire household. Anyone who can understand needs to know where this stuff lives so they don't start putting it in weird random places the same way that it always has been. So as long as everybody then knows where this stuff lives, you can all chip in and put it away whenever you're done using it next time. And you won't keep finding the same places like for instance, your kitchen counter cluttered up all the time. I guess I wasn't really sure what I was gonna find. I mean, I'll just kind of pull out some stuff here. So for instance, this is kind of like an analog um, speaker. It would project the sound outward. So it's pretty cool. You don't plug it into anything. It's just sort of a neat piece that I got as a gift and I actually still really love and we occasionally still use the new phones don't line up as well with the hole for it to project, so it's not the most ideal speaker system. This needs a home, like I'm not really sure where it goes. At one point it went in our living room, now it just kind of floats around. Our daughter uses it as like a trumpet. So, a bug catcher. This was actually a gift that we got our daughter for Christmas, but again, we never really identified where this thing is gonna go when it's not in use. So it pretty much just floats around the house and we need to figure this out dice. This is just a regular six-sided die, but we do have a dice pouch. I'm not sure if my husband wants us to go in that pouch or not, or if this is even the dice that he uses, so I don't really know. This is kind of a mystery, and we'll have to have him chime in on it. A key ring. I owe it to myself to go look at my key ring, see if I need to replace any of them, and if so, I will put this bad boy on there. If not, I'm gonna recycle it. This is a extra microphone. I had upgraded my mic equipment and I had bought actually two of them by mistake. I forgot that I ordered one. I went back on Amazon, I ordered another, and then I missed my window to return it because that's just the kind of person I am. I just miss key opportunities like the 30 day return window. Now I have this extra mic. This is just sort of floating around. This is something that I love and I got as a gift last year. I thought that I knew where it lived. I had been putting it by my fish tank and it seems like it keeps getting picked up and moved. I think that I have a little pint-sized culprit running around the house. She is probably just excited that it's sparkly and pretty and she just continues to move it around the house. I'm gonna try to find a place that this is out of reach of her and hopefully then it can stay in that home for good. And. The last thing that's in my basket of homeless items is a key. And it's a key that for once, for once, I actually know what this key goes to, but it doesn't go to anything here. So I need to return this key to its rightful owner. Anyway, that's it. I just wanted to give you guys this quick little update on what I was up to here in my kitchen counter. Part of what made me think like, hey, I should probably share this information with you is I started working on another video project where I was basically talking about ways to keep your problem areas clean. It was a mixture of using some of the kind of KonMari methods of like finding homes for your stuff. I was also just combining it with my own little methodology. And as I was sort of combining these 
different methods of keeping spaces clean. I realized that I should probably practice what I preach because my space was not reflecting what I was saying. And so I went through and basically was performing my method, which is essentially picking up every single item and saying, do I know where this lives? Yes, put it away. No, put it in a pile. Is it just trash? Throw it away or recycle. As I did that, I realized like, you know what? This is pretty easy. This is easy, easy stuff. And now I know that as long as I find homes for the stuff that's behind me, communicate it to the rest of the people in my house, there's really no reason that this stuff should just keep accumulating on our kitchen counter. That's the theory anyway. Hopefully it works and hopefully this was helpful for you guys too. I'm feeling excited to now have a clean kitchen island and ready to get on with my day. Thanks and I'll talk to you guys later.